what we are going to derive today is when a supernova explodes, okay? So let me just pause for a second and ask you guys, why stars form? So I'm Merav Ofer, an associate professor for the astronomy department at Boston University. So I do space physics, and within space physics, I study how the wind from the sun form this bubble called the heliosphere that form a shield between us and the galaxy. In space physics, it's all men, very few women. At the beginning, when I realized this is how it's going to be, I really felt almost like Carmen Miranda from Brazil. Like they're probably looking at me like I have a pineapple in my head. Or I remind them of their wives. So I'm not taking it seriously. On top of that, I also think very differently. It's very hard in space physics, especially, to find dreamers. I always push the envelope, because I like pushing the envelope. But by pushing the envelope, you're poking. And by poking, you know you are going to be attacked. So let me tell you a little bit about the Kosan. So, the way that we thought that the heliosphere was, was like this. So imagine that the sun is here, right? And the idea was, this is for 60 years or more, that surrounding that is a wind of the sun that form a long comet shape. And instead, what I noticed was, that here's the sun again, and what I see at the end is something like this. And the heliosphere is not extending to large distances, but it's very short. But I kept looking at that, and, and I thought, this is a core sun shape, like this core sun here. So the sun is right here, and actually, it's a core sun that has a horns like that. So this is a heliosphere. So this is, I don't know how to tell you, that this is almost like saying, you know, you thought the United States a continent, now it's an island. But I remember the first time showing this in conferences, I was worried that people were going to look at that as not serious. I think as a woman, the emotion that I struggle the most going through that is feeling alone. It's going to conferences and feeling alone in the sense you go and you have to really believe what you're doing, really love it, because you're going to give a talk and you're going to be attacked. So I think this is my own theory that women don't stay in the field or don't push the envelope so that you're not alone having to defend this type of attack. This is a problem in science in general. So this is super important for formation of stars, galaxies, planets, everything. When you bring together people that think in a very different way, suddenly discoveries are made. And this is really due to people coming from different cultural backgrounds, different genders, different fields, different thinking process. And a lot of science is done with a lack of diversity. And I think it's detrimental. We will have another 100 or 200 years of stagnation because we did not bring enough diversity.